Hello, my YouTube friends. This is Dan. ASML has been going up pretty well in the last few months, and I think it'll continue to go up in the next few months. Let me explain why. First of all, a quick review of my previous video on ASML, which was published on March 28th. In that particular video, I predicted that the price would go up to $640 a share before the end of July 2021. At that time, the closing price was at $625, and as of today, the price is already at $683, well beyond my prediction. Just a preview of my prediction now, it will be $720 a share by the end of September 2021. Let's get into the details. In my last video, I mentioned that ASML dominates the semiconductor lithography market with a 100% market share for the EUV and 88% market share in the DUV markets. Now, these machines are absolutely essential for semiconductor foundries that want to make the most advanced semiconductor chips. It's a nice position for ASML to be in to be basically the monopoly in that particular segment. Overall, as you know, there has been a severe shortage in the semiconductor business. And recently, Intel announced that they would invest $20 billion into new fat plants, which will, of course, purchase ASML equipment. And then Taiwan Semiconductor follow up with the announcement that they would invest $100 billion in the next three years into new foundries. Then soon after that, Samsung said they would invest $151 billion through 2030 for building new plants. The European Union has also been talking about building up their semiconductor production capacities, although no firm investment numbers have been published yet. All in all, that means there will be a lot of money spent on building new plants for semiconductors, and some of that revenue will go into ASML because, as I mentioned, they have the virtual monopoly in that particular segment of the market for lithography machines. Let's look at their revenues and the net income. The most recent bar here is from first quarter 2021. As we can see, they have been racking up pretty steady revenue gains in the last two, three quarters, and same with the net income, as you might expect from the industry shortage and the buildup of the new foundries around the world. At this point, if you like what you're seeing, I would appreciate very much if you can click the like, subscribe, and notification button. That'll encourage me to make more similar videos in the future. It is also for the sake of the YouTube algorithm. I thank you very much. Let's continue. In my last video, I talked about how I did my calculation for evaluating ASML. I took the average PE ratio from the leading semiconductor companies, and then I used the analyst consensus earning growth rate of 17.1% that I pulled out of the Yahoo Finance page. And then I decided from looking at the average PE ratio that the 55 is a reasonable P ratio for ASML going forward. And then based on their 2020 earnings, I did my calculations and came to the conclusion of $640 a share. My latest calculation is based on the earning growth of not 17.1% per year, but 29.8% per year. That's also from the Yahoo Financial page, the latest update. And then using the same assumptions like last time, I came to the conclusion of not 640, but $720 a share by the end of September 2021. Let's look at the other analysts' opinions. Again, the most recent closing price is $683. My new target is $720 by the end of September. Yahoo increased the target from $578, that was on March 28th, to $747. That's subsequent on the first quarter earning release from ASML. Louis Nevalier upgraded the company from a B rating to A rating, and that's definitely a buy. And then tipranks.com increased the high target from 640 to 806, almost a 30% jump. And then the average target from 540 to 752 and the low target from 443 to 700. CN Money also increased the targets as well as the street.com. Overall, we see upgrades all around. Let's look at the charts. The candlestick chart here is ASML. As we can see, during the past year, they went up by 95%, which is better than the semiconductor ETF SMH, which also went up an impressive 65%, but not as high as ASML. 
Now, if you look at QQQ, which really represent the movement of NASDAQ 100, it went up by 38% only, and SPY, which is representative of S&P 500, went up by 30%. Definitely, ASML has been performing very well compared to the overall broad market. If you look at the three-month chart, ASML went up by 36%, whereas SMH only went up by 16%, and QQQ and SPY only went up by about 11%. Definitely, ASML outperformed the market yet again. Let's look at the daily chart in detail. We can see this upward trending channel ever since January of this year. Looks like we're now right in the middle of the channel. That means there's quite a bit of room to move up yet. And we see the positive buy signal from DMI issued back on around May 18th and the positive buy signal from MACD. So definitely this is still a good time to buy. Let's look at the support and resistance levels. For ASML at this time, I found the Fibonacci extension to be a pretty good way to look at support and resistance levels. And I found this minimum point that was reached around March 8th and the maximum point reach around February 15. Of course, you can try different ways to draw the Fibonacci retraction and extension. And I tried several ways, and this turned out to be probably the most accurate way of doing it. The main reason is that with this drawing, it actually predicted a few historical levels. Let me explain more. For example, if you look at support level, the first support level will be at 50% Fibonacci extension at $661 a share, which is right around here. As you can see, it was hit by this candlestick, that one, and also here. And then the next level is 38.2% at 647, which is right here, also proven by some of the candlesticks. And then 631, the next level. For resistance, that'll be what might happen in the next few days as far as the price going up. The next resistance level will be 691, right around here. And then the next level up will be 100% of 717. I'd like to encourage you to subscribe also to my Twitter account, in addition to subscribing to my YouTube channel, because I will be posting daily updates to the stocks that I follow. For example, if there's any significant movements with regard to ASML, I will post an update from my Twitter account. And you can also send your comments, questions, and suggestions to both my Twitter account and my YouTube channel. I'd like to recap my forecast. That is $720 a share for ASML by the end of September 2021. And the current price is 683 and 30 cents. As far as my strategies, I will definitely buy ASML during the dips and when it bounces from a support level. And I will even buy ASML in the next couple of days before it reaches the next resistance level. I will definitely continue to monitor current events related to the semiconductor industry. And I'll provide update to my subscribers by way of a new video or by way of the messages from my Twitter account. At this point, I have to remind you that I'm not a financial advisor. I share my stock trading strategies for educational purpose only. You should make your own decision when you buy or sell stocks. And you should definitely consult with your financial advisors before you do so. This about wraps up my video for now. I will chat with you again in the next few days. In the meanwhile, I'd like to wish you the very best of luck with your financial investments.